Hi, I'm Susie Raines, and welcome to Starting a Business Simplified. These are special episodes geared towards sharing my journey and how I work in my business and all of the ups and downs that go with it. As you listen to these episodes, you're going to learn more about me, the resources that I use, the personal and professional growth that I go through, and how I work in my business. In order to follow this particular journey, you will see in the title of each episode, Susie's Journey. That's going to identify that this is part of the series that I'm recording specifically for what it is that I'm doing in my business. I'm so excited that you're here, and I look forward to going on this journey with you. As always, keep it simple. Welcome back to Susie's Journey. In this episode, I am going to share with you some of the realizations and awareness that I have been having this week. So first of all, self-love. That's been a big one for me. Every time I journal and I take quiet time for myself, I ask myself, what do you need? I'm, I'm really speaking to me, my essential self. And I say, Susie, what do you need? And then I pause and I listen. The voice in my head, the voice that comes up, keeps saying to me, love me. And that's such a powerful thing because when you feel love for yourself, when you feel And I don't even want to call it self-love. I'm going to say we are love, our essential self, our essential being. We're spiritual beings in a human body, and our spirit is love, 100%. So it's really just experiencing that, really experiencing my essential self, really experiencing love, looking around at everything from a perspective of love. You can't go wrong when you see everything with love. The frustrations of life melt away. The little things that annoy you, gone. It's amazing. So I started to practice that this week, and that's been huge for everything, especially in my business, is falling in love with my business, falling in love with what I do, falling in love with making these episodes on my podcast, just being excited. And it's so fun. And falling in love with everything around me. And that brings me to the second thing. Gratitude. Being grateful for the sun coming up this morning. Being grateful to have a place to lay down at night to get a good night's rest. Being grateful for this equipment that I have to record on my podcast. That whenever I feel like it, I can hit record and I can make an episode. That's just absolutely amazing. Being grateful for it's springtime right now and I'm looking out my window and I see the trees are getting leaves and there's green on the ground now and and we're in the mountains of Colorado where it's been brown because it's been cold and we've had snow and now everything's coming back to life and birds are flying around and chirping and it's so beautiful. Being grateful and just realizing all of the wonderful things that I have around me in this life and recognizing them. That's been so big. And I've been making it a practice to do that every morning when I wake up and every evening as I drift off to sleep, being so incredibly grateful for another beautiful day. And as I shift into this thinking, being love seeing everything from a loving perspective, being grateful. Those days when I feel down, and I've shared with you guys on my podcast in other episodes, it's a roller coaster ride, and that's natural. That is life. It's a wave. It goes up and down, and you can't have good without bad, and you can't have bad without good because you need them to see and to be aware of each of them. There's two sides to every coin. so. It's not that you walk around and all you do is think about positive everything. It's riding the wave. So when I am on that low, 
what are some of the things that I do? I help regulate my emotions. I ask myself when I'm in a low point, why? Why does this bother you? And again, I go internally and ask my essential self, which is my being. It's who I am. It's how God created me. I am, I am vast and infinite. So I know I have all the things that I need to know. And it's asking myself, okay, Susie, what's really bothering you about this situation? Why are you low? What's going on there? And letting my essential self answer. Again, asking the question and then pausing and listening. We are so incredibly busy running around doing a million things. We're on our devices. You probably have on your computer like 50 tabs open. You're reading the TVs on. You're listening to this podcast probably while you're doing something. We're so multitasked that we forget that we have all the answers. Like we don't need to Google everything. If you sat quietly and just asked yourself, what it needs, it will tell you. Your body will tell you. You will feel it in your body. Your body has energy and it wants to express. And for example, when you get excited, so something happens in your life and you get extremely excited, your heart beats a little faster. And for those of you listening that come from a medical background, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Fight or flight happens even when you're excited because you're in a higher energy and, and your heart races more and your breath gets faster and you're excited. That's the same feeling you get when you have fear. The same feeling you get when you get anxious. So your body responds and it's energy and you're in these ebb and flow of high charge, discharge, low charge, neutral. All of these things are happening. And so the reason I'm telling you all this is that one thing you can take away from this episode that would be beautiful is to turn off after the episode's over, turn off everything. If there's anything, noises happening, if you can, shut them all off, TV, your phone, everything, and just sit for a minute. You can set a timer if you want in so that you keep track so that you're not there too long or even for two minutes, I'm going to make it really easy, two minutes to just sit in silence. It's okay if you're thinking, if your mind is thinking, because that's normal and natural. But I want to challenge you before you sit in silence to come up with one question that you want to know the truth about. And ask yourself one question. Ask yourself the question and then sit and listen for the answer. I would absolutely love to hear what comes up for you if you want to share it. Please reach out. All my contact information is in the show notes. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on Facebook more than I am on Instagram, but depending on where you are, I would love to hear from you. You can always send me a message. I'm totally open and would love to hear from you. If you want to send me a message on social media, if you want to go to my website and send me a message there, you can reach me anyway. On my website, if you click on the bottom right-hand corner, there's a way to chat with me. So if you want to chat with me, I'm happy to do that. Um, but yeah, just sit and listen. Love. Gratitude. Those are the two things. If you can shift your thinking into those two ways, so many things will change in your life. I know it's changing for me, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you here. Thank you for listening, and as always, keep it simple. <laughs>